Hi, welcome back to the channel guys. I'm Steve the bartender and today I'm not showing you how to make a drink. I'm just doing an appreciation post. This is my bar haul. Well, most people do bar hauls and it's products that they've actually purchased. I have purchased none of this. It's more of an appreciation video just to say thank you to the people that have um, utilized the buy the back bar feature to buy these bottles and to support the channel. Um, whilst there are a lot of bottles here, uh, I do want this to be uh, restricted somewhat because I'm, I'm not doing this so that I can get uh, free bottles on the bar and free drinks for me uh, whilst I do get to consume some of these the whole reason I did this was to get the people at home involved in the videos um, and basically use those ingredients that uh, they're keen to see on the channel so I just want to say a thank you to Scott A, Justin M, Jonas L, Rodrigo N Wahan B, uh, Pierre S, Rebecca R, Rick W, JT, John G, Jared S, Tim Kirkland, Amanda McD, and a special shout out for this last one. Uh, I hope I pronounce your name right. I'm, I'm sorry if I don't. Uh, Manav bought this for Heather L, his girlfriend. They're both subscribers of the channel. I'm actually getting a lot of uh, Instagram messages with couples watching the channel, which is kind of cool. But anyways, this video, uh, I know there's a lot of bottles here, so I'm gonna do a brief brief tasting, um, very, very small tidbit of information about each bottle and possibly what I might use that ingredient for. I'd like you guys to jump in, down into the comments below and request, suggest, and we can go from there. So first bottle on the buy the back bar list, which was actually purchased quite some time ago, uh, the Florida Kanye seven year. Make sure I do very small tastings, otherwise by the end of this, Steve will be drunk. So it's a really high, highly rated uh, Nicaraguan rum, uh, medium bodied, smells really rich on the nose. A lot of dark caramel uh, flavors in there. As I said at the start, I'm gonna keep this relatively brief. Um, this, is a very, this is actually a really good sipping rum, but no doubt I'll be using this in some tiki drinks. Next up, I've got Koki Vermouth di Torino. So Vermouth di Torino is, I believe, one of two um, vermouths that are actually geographically regulated. Um, What's the AOC appellation of control or something like that? I can't remember the actual name of this. So I remember the first time I used Koki on uh, the channel, I got called out because I called it Kochi, which is uh, more of an Australian way to Australian way to pronounce uh, a, a word with CH in it. It's also childproof. So this is a, a really popular um, Italian vermouth. I love that sound. It's got a, a beautiful uh, golden color, caramel looking, nice viscosity. Oh, it smells really vibrant. Uh, citrus peel, kind of like maybe dried fruits like raisin. Uh, it's kind of got a, a sarsaparilla note to it as well. And it's, it's really vibrant. Uh, it's got this slow, dry, lingering bitterness to it. It's not overwhelming, but damn, that's a good vermouth. Oh, and cocktails that I'll use it in. Um, first thing that spring to mind is a Milano Torino, um, which is like basically the what originated the um, Americano and the Negroni. Uh, I'll also do a probably a barrel aged Boulevardia and maybe a perfect Manhattan. Let me know what you guys would create in the comments below. Next, I've got Fernet Branca. I'm gonna get told off for how I pronounce it as well. Uh, I believe a lot of people in the States call it Fernet. I don't know what's correct. I'm probably wrong, most likely. A lot of uh, menthol notes to it. Uh, it was created back in 1845. So it's been in production for, for a very long time. Uh, Italian 
Amaro, so it was created in um, Milan, and it's got like um, menthol notes and almost a, um, oh, yeah, real minty. I actually haven't tried the the other Fernet. Um, I need to get a bottle of that. It's not really uh, readily available in Australia though. Wow, damn. A lot of menthol flavors. Uh, it's really quite dry. It's very distinctive. What cocktail I'll, I'll use this in? I have no idea. Any suggestions, leave in the comment. The next Ancho Reyes, which is one of the few uh, chili infused products on the market. I haven't actually tried this one before. And it was inspired by a 1920s uh, liqueur that was common in Mexico at the time. Ooh, it's got kind of a funky smell to it that I can't, can't pick. It's got some, good, got some really good heat to it. Uh, not overpowering, not overwhelming, but nice lingering taste. And that will go very, very well in like a, a spicy margarita or a Paloma or something like that. I'm gonna enjoy playing around with this one. Then we have an extremely highly rated Jamaican rum, a dark Jamaican rum, full bodied. Whoop, that was a bit too much. It's not as readily available in Australia. Uh, I believe in the US, it's on a lot of back bars. And there's that like sarsaparilla note to it as well. It's got a bit of a, a golden syrup kind of color to it. Full body dark Jamaican rum. This will be my go-to rum in a lot of tiki drinks. And next I've got Underberg, which is a, a German digestive, which is made from this incredibly cool, cute little bottle. So it's made from 43 uh, aromatic herbs, made in Germany. Good to settle the stomach. Ooh, and I get um, a lot of like allspice kind of flavors, clove, nutmeg, my wife's family is German, so I've had many at Underbergs and Jägermeister uh, after a big meal, and I can definitely attest to the fact that it does help settle your stomach. I'm sure it does. Incredibly complex. There's a lot of aromatics and flavors in there. Very herbal, and a little bit, a little bit of a tingle on the tongue as well. The reason I was keen to get some Underberg was because I saw heaps of cocktails being served up in brand, these are like from Instagram by the way, um, big brandy balloons with lots of pebble ice and the Underberg was sat in on top. So I don't necessarily know if they were good tasting cocktails, I didn't even read the recipe, but they made for a wicked photo. So I got Underberg to be insta famous. Then we've got Ray and Nephew, the Overproof Rum, which is in incredibly popular in Jamaica and actually accounts for 90% of their domestic sales of rum. It's sitting at 63%. Um, <laughs> this really feels like the shots video is all over again. I said I wasn't going to do that. Actually, um, it smells quite sweet, surprisingly. But for those who don't know, uh, Ray and Nephew is also the producer of Captain Morgan's um, Karuba and Appleton Estate Rums. Wow. Alcohol burn, it is 63%, but it's a good rum to utilize in a lot of TQ drinks. There's already 200 mil missing because I made a five minute for learning video, which didn't quite go to plan, so I'll be doing that again uh, in the next week or so. So if you stay tuned, you'll see, see that. <laughs> the boost has gone to my head. 
feel warm. Then I've got Rum JM, the VSOP. This one is aged for four to five years. And their particular cane is grown in rich volcanic soil. And they pick about a month later than everyone else. So uh, it's got Rum JM has a particular uh, profile that's specific to their rum agricoles. Quite grassy and vegetal. Mm. Delicious, smooth. I recently used that in a, a tea punch, which you can check out right here. And then we've got Cointreau, probably the most recognized uh, orange liqueur available on the market. I'm sure everyone's seen this, everyone's familiar with it. The oranges made to to create Cointreau are sourced from three different locations uh, within the Caribbean, Brazil, and Spain, and multiple different varieties as well. It's well known for a reason. It's a, it's a beautiful orange liqueur uh, that is commonly called for in many, many classic cocktails. And I'll be using that in a comparison video when I compare uh, Triple Sex, Cointreau's, uh, Mandarin, Napoleon, uh, and then also a Sex Sex Sec, which was given to me by uh, a subscriber, Seb. Thank you, Seb. And next I've got Mandarin Napoleon, which is a, a citrus liqueur. This one's made in Belgium. It smells like fresh Mandarin, like you've just scratched the peel. But it's also got some some spices behind the scenes, like uh, maybe maybe nutmeg and cinnamon. That is delicious. I would use this in place of other triple sex and orange liqueurs in other classic cocktails that call for an orange liqueur. Then we've got pimento dram, which is an all spice liqueur. Allspice uh, is made from pimento berries, and it was called allspice because uh, it tastes like all spices. <laughs> Simply put, uh, it tastes like cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. I've already used this in a one or two videos so far. Hundred percent cinnamon, clove, nutmeg uh, on the nose, on the palate. It's quite sugary, but it's got a bit of a dry finish to it, and it's a common ingredient in tiki drinks as well. Next up, Suntory whiskey. This has been in production since 1937. Uh, Japanese whiskey, and it actually brings me back to the time when my wife and I uh, went to Japan. Brings back lots of awesome memories of our, our 10, 14 day trip there. Uh, eating a lot of karagi chicken, drinking heaps of whiskey highballs. Mm. Good memories. Strong grain flavors in that. Uh, it kind of had a bit of a hay-like nose to it as well. 100% I will be utilizing this in a whiskey highball and any suggestions you guys can make in the comments below. And last of all, we've got Domaine de Canton, which is a French ginger liqueur and a really, really cool bottle. Yet another one that I haven't tried before. It's got a lot of uh, fresh lime, like kind of a citrusy, but quite acidic, the, the, the typical lime notes quite vibrant bit of a honeyed note to it as well and then slowly that ginger comes through it's not as gingery as I was thinking it was going to be sorry it does taste like ginger and, and the, the nose as well but it's just not as, as spicy as I was hoping for the first drinks that come to mind are a ginger mule or a ginger Collins. 
huge shout out and massive thank you to everyone who used the buy the back bar feature very humbled uh, i appreciate that you guys are buying the bottles and you can be a part of the channel uh, all the bottles that you saw on the bar will be sitting back here at some stage and will be used in cocktails in upcoming videos so make sure you stay tuned if you haven't subscribed already make sure you like subscribe and hit the bell button and please suggest away with any cocktails you may have utilizing the ingredients that are up here that were up here i'll see you soon for another cocktail video cheers my wife's family is german and i've had underberg uh, at their place after dinner quite a few times and I can definitely guarantee it settles the stomach after a big schnitzel. That sounds sexual. <laughs> after a big schnitzel. <laughs> after a big grass <laughs>